My name is George Dasher. I'm the executive director of the West Virginia Speleological Survey, and today I'm giving a talk on that organization. Leave Ass was formed in 1967 to document West Virginia's cave. We have three purposes the collection and dissemination of karst and cave data, the stimulation of speleological research, and the protection of caves and karst. We're an official survey within the NSS and a 5013C organization. We're not an organization with any fixed membership. Anyone can help locate caves. Anyone can help survey caves. Anyone can come to our meeting. We maintain a cave and karst database. Uh, right now we have about 20 area coordinators and we maintain a significant cave list. Short story on this is we're trying to keep Spelia Day at work from being lost trying to give future cavers a platform to build on, and we're not so much trying to show what has been done, but as what needs to be done. And we do this by two things, using two things. We maintain a digital base. This is done by Brian Masney, and we publish hard, cop, hard, hard copy bulletins and monographs. Our data reporting items are about what you would expect. Feature name, type of feature, location coordinates, who's doing the reporting, what the cave looks like, what the entrance looks like, is there a map, what biology, what geology, et cetera. Our data is proprietary. And this is because some people will not contribute to the database if the, they know the data can be uh, accessed by the general public. The concerns are threefold. Some people disrespect the landowners. They do not get asked permission to go in a cave. They do not respect the landowner's property or rules. They show up too regularly with too many uh, people. The cave can be abused, either the spiliothems or the creatures living within it. And occasionally, fortunately rarely, there's uh, inexperienced people uh, with inadequate equipment that get into trouble. So we very much, because of this, we very much prefer and only provide our information to cavers who are a part of an organized caving group. And who have taken the time to learn the rules and ethics of proper caving and have attained the proper equipment and experience. Our hard copy bulletins, if you have data, uh, manuscript, et cetera, that you wish to uh, provide to the Caden community, we will publish this at our own cost and provide a long-term location where the information, your bulletin can be uh, uh, purchased or provided to the cave, uh, to responsible cavers. Basically, we say, you wanna put it together, we will publish and pay for it. Then two things happen. One of two things happen. Either the person does something or the person drops the ball. What we don't want to happen is what occurred in the early 1980s with the publication Capillary Cavers. This um, book was put out by the DC Grotto and the Potomac Speleological Club, and nobody uh, today knows it existed. It, it documented the exploration history of five West Virginia caves and one Kentucky cave. And as I said, no one today knows that it was ever printed because it was at one time publication uh, um, printed with no, no uh, long-term location where it could be uh, purchased. We have stored the data though in the WeVast database. To date, we've, uh, WeVast has published 24 bulletins, six monographs and two other publications. In the last decade, our bulletins have included uh, descriptions of the caves of Tucker County, a uh, comprehensive bulletin on West Virginia's karst, caves of Culverson Creek Basin, the caves of Mercer and Summers County, Monroe County, Hardy County, and Western Greenbrier County. Uh, in the last decade, our monographs have included uh, uh, Castle Cave and Cass Cave in Pocahontas County, the Trout Rock Caves and uh, Senate Cave in Pendleton County, and the history of um, Seneca Caverns Company, which is also located in Pendleton County. Upcoming bulletins include um, one on the Saltpeter Caves of West Virginia uh, and uh, Preston and Mon Caves of Preston and Mon County, Caves of Northern Greenbrier County, Central Greenbrier County, Eastern Greenbrier County, and a bulletin on the uh, Pleistocene and uh, vertebrates of West Virginia have been found to date. Here's a picture of our hard copy bulletins. As I said, they're only available to those members of the caving community, um, organized caving community, which includes the NSS, WeVast, and PSC. Uh, our contact email, our contact location is shown at the bottom, and that's WeVast at, at 
at prehistoricplanet.com. Here's a picture of the interior of some of our bulletins. Um, these, these, uh, most of the caves are small and, and may only have a paragraph or two of text and perhaps a caveman. The larger caves, of course, have several or too many pages of text and cave maps and illustrations, etc. cetera. Um, we may, as I said, we maintain a snipping cave list. Uh, this was originally started by the Department of Natural Resources about 1983 and includes 200 caves at present. Um, the categories, there's 11 categories, archeology, span biology, depth, economics, uh, pretties and formations, geology, hist history, hydrology, paleontology, length and recreation. We have one meeting a year. It's an open meeting, meaning anyone can come. Everyone is invited. It's uh, at OTR, 6.30 p.m. on the Saturday of the Labor Day weekend in the OTR event tent. I wanna give you some statistics. Uh, at this instant in time, West Virginia has a little over 5,300 documented caves. Uh, Greenbrier County has the most with 1669. Other uh, counties which, which um, contain a large number of caves include Pocahontas, Randolph, and Tucker, as well as uh, uh, Mercer, Monroe, and Pendleton. Longest caves in the state, um, Briars Hole Cave, Hell Holes, Great Savannah, Oregon, and Scott Hollow, with Briars Hole being 647, uh, little over 47 miles long. Uh, the deepest caves in state are Hell Hole, Simmons Mingo, Overholt Glowing, Friars Hole, and Great Savannah, with Friars, with Hell Hole being 737 feet uh, deep. The deepest pits in the state, uh, uh, Perseverance Dome is the deepest at 526 feet. It's a, a dome that was climbed from the bottom. Uh, and it and, and all the other caves on this spreadsheet are located in Pendleton County. Plus 11 of the caves on this spreadsheet or this table uh, are located in two caves in, uh, in Germany Valley. And that folks is the end.